Hi and welcome to Ultimate Tools. Okay, we've got a lovely little video now about our new uh, V2 version of our Paramax uh, drive here. Uh, we're really excited about it. What we do is going to talk about one or two of the exciting different features for you, really. Uh, it's actually just improved. It's still the same strength, but far, far better and far more adaptable. So if you'd like to zoom into the case here and then we can actually talk about the head first of all. Uh, and the differences between this and the old one. I haven't got an old drive here, but the ones of you that have already bought the drive, you'll notice instantly it's all, definitely all in black. <laughs> for it's obviously sleek and uh, nice looking. The main thing is it still has a torch, okay, to light up, even though uh, the endoscope uh, camera that we use now does have LEDs in it, okay. Uh, it's shorter in length you haven't got the adjustable part down the uh, the rear end here which makes it crank angles but you still need the ability to adjust the head angle some of you probably think well i haven't done that yet on mine but don't you worry there will be situations where you need to get the angle correct and you have to adjust the head so here we have is obviously an allen key a little two mil allen key we'll undo the locking on that loosen off on the on the screw and this allows you to then, rather than adjust it, you can add, and then lock in the Allen key. It adjusts, allows you to adjust it at 45, sorry, 45, yeah, 45 degrees at that angle. And then that'll be fixed off. Or if we go back to the other side, that allows you to lock it off at this angle for further adaptations uh, later on when we uh, obviously evolve this kit. So it is fully adjustable still. But we also can then crank it back to perfectly straight. Just like that. And just uh, take that Allen key off a little bit. The Allen key is there just to stop it twisting around once you tighten up on the screw. And that just locks it in. So what's what's great about it, apart from being a lot skinnier, a lot narrower, we've also uh, added an extra feature where if you was to, uh, obviously it was to get broken by any means or any form, it shouldn't get broken because they're quite strong. It is possible to take through here. I'm not going to undo it. You can take that part in part off and then pull the drive out. What that means, if you, you break your uh, the actual flexi drive in this, you can buy the component bar of actually replacing the, new, the actual square drive that goes all the way through the actual flexi drive unit. Okay, that's another lovely feature. Uh, another feature that we've uh, uh, obviously been added from our clients have been saying that uh, one meter is just not long enough. They needed a, like an extra like uh, 10 centimeters or like, you know, 20. So what we've done is we've added an extra length. It's uh, a meter and 300, 1.3 meters now. So it's an extra about that much longer on the actual drive itself. So that makes a, a large difference. Now we go further up the door if you're coming from the bottom or further down or if the letterbox is at the bottom of the door, it will allow you with the extension rods to go further up the door so we get to a lot more positions on the back of a door. It comes as a complete kit now, this does with the other stuff about this. Now this is obviously well, well engineered again. It's taken a long time to get it right. The bottom top hat has two different sizes to it. Uh, on this part here but it obviously like i said it all comes apart so therefore every bit is adaptable and replaceable okay still comes with the wonderful uh other parts the the, the multi-grip everybody's seen them out the multi-grip and talked about the multi-grip pushes down to the actual shape of what you're trying to push it to and then that will obviously still go on the end like so we've listened to our clients obviously not only like i said to extend the length of the drive we've also listened to 
extend the height on the the trough for the actual flat turns so now that obviously gives you a lot more depth to go over what you're actually uh, trying to slot it on and that is obviously just a straight fit we've got the adjustable crib which now comes with the beaks a pair of actually rubber form beaks which is all for the round turns and now obviously the uh, grub screws with a uh, stronger allen heads so you can tighten them up quite tight there and a key holder now a lot of people think what do you want a, a key holder for well there's quite a lot of adaptations on this key holder first comes to mind to me and i've used it quite a lot of the time is when the client has to go to their uh, lock on their front door and it's glued up now what you do is you take the customer's key, form the customer's key on that, then you put the customer's key through the letterbox and then and then take the time to uh, persist to enter the key into the actual lock from the other side and then open up and unlock the door from the other side. We know that they have to replace the lock but if it's on a two star handle you can't remove the lock or you don't want to bust loads of drill bits trying to open the glued lock. This is the most quickest an efficient way of getting in. It does take quite a lot of fiddly to get it in the keyhole, but I've used it many a time, and it's uh, certainly a lot quicker. Uh, but you can undo, you can attach any form of key. You could do sash stop window keys on there, where the client has got their sash window open slightly. You can go through the window, if it's one form of entry, by a sash stop key and undo the actual uh, acons on the window. Uh, or you can put like a, a security bolt key on there and undo the security bolts and stuff like that. Knowingly we like the, the Chubb 467 you would then use a, a flat screwdriver bit. Also, I, I know they're not pretty but they're practical. You can extend the versions of this uh, Posi 2 uh, screwdriver bit but then that allows you to undo uh, the handles on PVC doors where the gearbox is broken to access them, remove the handles without damaging the handles to get to the gearbox to repair it all. Obviously this is just uh, the unit on its own, like I said, we made it modular and this obviously fits well with uh, its brother, you could say, which is the Black Scorpion, this kit here. Okay, all interacts. Now the Black Scorpion comes with the endoscope which you'll need uh, to obviously use with the uh, Powermax drive and the uh, camera holder and bracket and everything like that. This is obviously we would recommend for, for you to start with uh, to obviously buy the black scorpion with the endoscope because uh, that, that one the endoscope will aid you into obviously making sure you get onto the uh, the right area if you're doing uh, regular doors of the same place all the time then eventually like my staff you won't need to use the endoscope you'll just know how to use it you know the distance and everything and you'll go straight through and actually open up uh, the actual turns on the back of a door without actually using an endoscope after lots of practice and lots of use. So there you go, that's a, a little insight into the, the Black Scorpion and uh, the Powermax Plus Drive V2.